Leaving the new headquarters of the Watershed Management Protection Authority, we raced across the reservoir in a speedboat. Many of the trees have been felled as part of the biomass removal program, but some remained in the branches of some of those who had festoons of beautiful orchids on them. On the northern shore, we saw feral buffalo, which have been released there and are now causing problems with the wildlife. A management control program is going to start in a few months' time. Going up the rivers became progressively harder, and eventually we just got out and walked. Our first goal was to visit one of the artificial wetlands, which NTPC, the company which runs the dam and the reservoir, has built in the forest. Jim Johnson, a long-term Laos resident and now employee at NTPC, was our guide and he showed us the animal tracks at the side of the wetland, a net which had been used to catch fish, and elephant dung. Uh, this here is an um, uh, artificial wetland. It has a, um, a dike here, stopping the water flowing down, and um, it has a spillway over there. Um, so here, the objective is to, to make a habitat that um, the, the main objective was when um, inundation was occurring, there was a turtle rescue program that rescued turtles from where the inundation was occurring and they released them here. There's about 30 sites like that. The objective was to release the turtles here and then also provide habitat for other animals the turtles that we released into these artificial wetlands were mainly uh, Asian uh, leaf turtle and Asian box turtle. Seems that Asian leaf turtle has done the best here, and because there's recruitment from that. Um, other animals that use this, you can see tracks of uh, elephants here on occasions, drinking from the water. You can see tracks of uh, uh, sambar deer, of um, a large antlered munchak and a lot of tracks of buffalo that are, that are feral as well. The next thing he took us to was one of the artificial salt lakes that has been built. Yeah, there's anim animals everywhere here, you know. Um, here we have one of the uh, artificial salt lakes. It's uh, located here because there's a natural slight depression here. We, to this place we add salt every year. We, we plow, plow it first and then we add uh, sodium chloride, calcium carbonate, uh, potassium chloride and a, a phosphorus compound too. Uh, before replenishment we um, do some, make, uh, take some samples and get them analysed to see what, what the nutrient content is and just to check what, what level it is, because we, we uh, analyzed the nutrient content of the old natural mineral licks uh, before they were inundated by the, by the reservoir. We're trying to uh, get the mineral content up to about the same levels as the old mineral licks. There's other animals that use it as well. It's the sambar deer, there's the large antlered munchak, um, there's the red munchak and also um, uh, buffaloes. Uh, every three months we do a monitoring of the tracks that we see around the place to see what animals are using it. That'll give us, uh, if there's no uh, elephants using it, it'll give us a warning. Uh, perhaps it's not very attractive to elephants and we can look at why, why it wasn't attractive. WCS have also put in uh, camera traps um, to see what's using it too.